Now we're going to look at a different type of ratio question, which is actually pretty useful. It's pretty useful when you're out in the supermarket and you want to see which is the better deal, because often they do try and trick us with these things. So we're, we're going to have to buy some, some Coca-Cola. So we see there's three different products on the shelves. We can get a 500 ml bottle, and that costs 75 pence. Okay, we can get a two litre bottle, and that's costing us two pounds eighty. Okay, and we get a pack of cans, which is a six pack of cans, and they're two hundred and fifty mil each. Okay, and that costs two pound forty. Okay, so now we need to work out which one is actually the better value. And the way we do that is we compare like for like. We find out, we look at and try and work out a value that we can work out all of them for, which will be the easiest. So what's going to be the easiest here? We could get everything down to 500 mil, but it's going to be a little bit of a pain. We could get everything down up to two litres, but again, that's a bit of a hassle. It's probably best if we look at one litre and compare everything the cost of one litre. So we need the cost of one litre, okay? So we're going to work out, and then we can see which one actually is better value. So 500 mil, we need to, what do we need to do to get 500 mil to one litre? We times it by two. So we do 75 times by two, which gives us that's going to come out at one pound and 50p. So we five p times two, one pound 50. Two litres, what we're going to do to get two litres to one litre, we'll divide by two. So in this case, we do two pound eighty divided by two, and that's going to give us it comes out at one pound and forty pence. So this is leading at the moment. And let's see if the cans are going to be cheaper. You'd expect them to be more expensive, but you never know with these sorts of questions. So how much have we actually got? Six times two hundred fifty mil. Well, if we work that out, we find out that's one and a half liters. So what we actually need to do is two hundred forty. Two pound forty divided by one point five, and we do that on our calculators. But if there's a non-calculated question, that becomes a little bit more tricky. So what we can do is we can divide by six and times by four, because obviously two hundred fifty times four. That's how much that would tell us. The, divide by six tells us one can. They're two hundred fifty mil times that by four, and that would give us the cost of of a, a litre. So let's do that, because that sounds a lot easier. So £2.40 divided by 6, and then we want the answer to that times by 4. So 240 divided by 6 is 40p, and then times by 4 is going to give us £1.60. So it does come in that the cans are the most expensive, we find the two litre bottle is the best value, which is what we would have expected, but there could have been an offer on the cans for all we know, and we could have found they're cheaper. That is a ratio question, and they're that simple. So, let's do another example. Some apples, so we're buying some apples this time. Okay, now we're offering the, the supermarket as well. They, we find a one kilogram bag, comes in at £1.85. A one and a half kilogram bag is coming in at £2.70. And a five kilogram bag is coming in at £9.50. So we need to see which one out of these is the better value. So again, let's compare one kilogram. So What's the cost of one kilogram? Obviously it's £1.85 for the kilogram back. Luckily we've already got that. We can minimise how much work we need to do all the better. One and a half kilogram back, so we did £2.70 divided by 1.5, or £2.70 divided by three times by two. So 270 divided by three gives us 90p, times two gives us £1.80. So we find they are one pound eighty. 
9.5 kilograms divided by 5. So, how many fives go into 95? Well, 10 go into 5 pounds with £4.50 left over. You know, 9 will go into that. So, 19. So, these will come in at £1.90. So, in this case, we actually find the 5 kilogram bag to be the most expensive, and we find the 1.5 kilogram bag is the best value. So, we'd actually be better off buying three of those to get four and a half kilograms rather than we would buy the five kilogram bag if we wanted that on the apples. And this is pretty helpful when you're in, out in the supermarket. So have a practice of some of these questions in your book and then we'll finish off ratios uh, when you're done with those.